in the Greek legend of Sisyphus. He needs to push a boulder to the top of a mountain for eternity. But every time he reaches the top, it will roll back down to the bottom. This kind of reminds me of the search for new clinical drugs. Say you are developing a drug, you're doing research, you're getting closer and closer to the top of the mountain. But then it doesn't work. You need to try again and again and again. In fact, only about 10% of these clinical drugs make it to the market. I want to tell you about a disease with no cure. Time and time again, the drug has failed to make it to the market. This is called NASH, a severe form of fatty liver disease. It, it, yeah, it's basically what it sounds like. It's a liver that's fatty. But this is severe and it can cause death, liver cancer, and many complications. It even affects over a hundred million people worldwide. So you might have it, or you know someone who has it. And again, there is no cure for NASH. Most research is done using animal models, but these models are not the same as a human. And we can't just use humans to study drugs. But what if we could get a human liver in a dish? That, that can work. And that's what I do. I use human iPS cells or induced pluripotent stem cells. These can be skin cells that you reset into stem cells. These stem cells can become any cell in your body. So I use iPS cells to make five different types of liver cells. I mix these cells together in a bowl and I use these balls to construct a human-like liver tissue. It even has blood vessels and immune cells and everything I need to study NASH. So with this liver tissue, I can add fats and oils and I can essentially create NASH in a dish. And with this model, I believe I can make the mountain much smaller and I can make the boulder much lighter so it is that much easier to find a cure for NASH. So we don't need to use animal models or human test subjects. We have NASH in a dish. So the next time you hear about NASH, I hope there will be a cure.